Pro-Palestinian student demonstrators gathered on Columbia campus once again in spite of the university's attempts to stop them. This comes just a day after more than 100 people were arrested. CBS 2's Masa Saidi has been on campus all day. Masa, what is it like out there right now? So, Christine, we want to show you what's happening right now. You can see police have gathered here at 116th and Broadway. It's hard to see from this vantage point, but the protesters are right down the street. You might be able to hear them chanting. We're going to show you uh, a small group that has gathered from above to watch all of this unfold. Now, the campus is closed off to the public. Only students and staff have been allowed inside today. We want to show you what's been happening behind the gates. Video from Chopper 2. This is one day after 100 people were arrested by the NYPD and students. They were back on the main lawn again. We didn't see any tents, but you might be able to see some sleeping bags, some mats. The students say they are demanding a ceasefire. Now they want this university to financially divest from Israel. Columbia, like other colleges and universities, in turmoil since the start of this war. During a congressional hearing this week, the school's president took a firm stance against anti-Semitism. But we've been talking with students. Some Jewish students tell me she's not doing enough. But on the other side, she is being criticized for going too far. Listen to what they had to say. They care more about their shareholders than the, the students. For this entire year, I have not felt any type of safety, and they claim that they are doing this under the guise of safety. I have to move to a different dorm because the harassment was getting really bad. Masa, you know, it was such a tense situation yesterday, and we have seen dozens of NYPD officers there today. Is the department saying anything more tonight? Yeah, Christine, they're telling us they have not entered campus. There are no plans to enter campus at this point. They also say that there have been no reports of violence. All right, Masa Saidi reporting for us outside Columbia University tonight. Masa, thank you.